Welcome back to Automotive Territory. As promised, this is the second volume of the latest electric car news of 2023 and beyond. Last week we covered the SUVs and trucks, so today let's talk about smaller reviews that might even have lower prices. Do not forget to check out the volume 1 of this video through the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel and enjoy the informative ride. Volkswagen ID7 VW is entering the electric sedan game with a new ID7 model based on the ID Aero concept. The sixth member of the series and the second global Volkswagen to be built on the MEB underpinnings will go on sale across Europe, China, and North America, offering up to 435 WLTP miles, 200 kW charging, and several drivetrain configurations. For now, specs are revealed only for a single motor rear wheel drive version with a 77 kWh battery. It'll be making 286 horsepower and is capable to complete 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. The exterior of the ID7 is focused on aerodynamics. It gets a sloping coupe like roof, achieving 0.23 drag coefficient. On the inside, the model offers generous passenger and cargo space, climate control with novel air vent design, and has an available panoramic roof that can switch between opaque and transparent modes. Finally, the ID7 will come packed with new tech, a 15 inch infotainment, augmented reality HUD, and the latest travel assist with swarm data that supports assisted lane changing and speeds over 55 miles per hour. Polestar 2 BSD Edition 230 and 270 These limited edition versions of the Polestar 2 are based on the long-range dual-motor model with a standard performance pack. This means that the new BTS Edition 230 and 270 produce 479 horsepower and sprint from 0 to 62 mph in 4.4 seconds. The pair also benefits from unique Allens two-way adjustable dampers, one-inch lowered height, a front strut bar, much stiffer springs, and four piston drilled and ventilated Brambos front and back. Completing the special edition are black 21-inch alloy wheels that are shot into Pirelli P0 tires. To draw the difference between the mechanically identical BST 230 and 270, Polestar offers the more recent 230 with exclusive exterior bits. These include new nebula greenish gray on space black exterior color schemes, an optional full-length racing stripe, and special front grille and side skirt inserts. BMW i7 M70 X Drive As soon as the i7 hit the market, it was already surpassing its competitors in terms of exuberant interior luxury. From 2024, however, its flagship version will also be more aligned with the market leaders in terms of horsepower and range. The M70 X Drive version is the mightiest electric BMW to date. It has an M-specific chassis with a dual-motor all-wheel drive and a 102 kWh battery with 350 WLTP miles. Since the rear axle motor has unprecedented levels of power density, the total yield of the system reaches 660 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. When the M Sport boost function and M launch control are activated, the giant sedan can dart to 60 in 3.7 seconds, and its top speed is limited to 155 miles per hour. The BMW i7 M70 X Drive includes M specific adaptive 2 axle air suspension with electronically controlled dampers and automatic self leveling, M Sport brakes, illuminated grille, and surely M specific bits and pieces throughout. Mini Cooper SE Convertible and Countryman Electric Many chooses to ignore all the electric convertibles that came before it and assigns the title of the world's first mass-produced convertible EV to the Cooper SE. This two-door will be available in Europe in a limited number of 999 numbered vehicles. It will be decorated with the exclusive 17-inch cast alloy wheels in electric power spoke two-tone design made of 100% secondary aluminum. 
The Cooper SE convertible has rich interior equipment like sports mini yours leather lounge design seats with heating and adjustable thigh support, Napa leather steering wheel, piano black surfaces and a round infotainment with e-drive surfaces. Unfortunately, this mini will not make any improvements on the electric side of things. So the range is still limited to 125 miles and 184 horsepower can ensure only 8.2 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. By the way, besides the Cooper SE convertible, in 2024 we will also welcome an electric version of the Mini Countryman. At this point, specifications are yet unknown, but hopefully they will beat the original electric minis. Volkswagen ID to all This new concept from VW presents an upcoming all-electric model that will debut the brand's MEB entry platform and will cost less than 25,000 euros. The new architecture means a single-motor drivetrain with 226 forces and around 280 WLTP miles. In terms of exterior styling, the model will be set apart by the brand's evolved design language, which includes a more powerful stance, a friendly face, and C-pillar design. Just as affordable as the internal combustion Palo, the 2 all is expected to offer golf-like interior space. Its infotainment is simple and easy to use, while the cabin is focused on ergonomics and comfort. We should mention that the production version of the 2 all should arrive to the European markets in 2025. We are constantly delivering the freshest electric car news to your inbox, and all we ask in return is to smash the like button. Thanks for your support, and let's keep rolling! Sony Honda Afila Sedan After unveiling a couple of in-house developed prototypes, Sony eventually decided to partner with Honda in order to transition to mass production. The joint venture of Japan's leading industrial giants has presented a new brand, Afila, at the 2023 CES. The original co-created model is a mid-size sedan that likely rides on the same platform as the Vision S concept SUVs. This means an 800V architecture, a duo of 270 horsepower electric motors with all-wheel drive capability and at least 300 miles of range. This technological powerhouse will be equipped with an 800 teraflops electronic control unit, 45 cameras, and an entire suite of the next-generation software from Qualcomm Technologies' Snapdragon Digital Chassis and Epic Games. The Fila sedan is expected to support over-the-air updates and level 3 driving autonomy under specific conditions. Audi Active Sphere The Scoop SUV culminates the family of Sphere concepts and pushes the boundaries of Audi's electric vehicles. Envisioned by Audi's design studio in Malibu, the Active Sphere has a variable sport back and active back rear architecture, which effectively transforms it from a coupe crossover into a pickup truck. This vehicle was built on the 800V PPE modular system with a 100kWh battery and 375 miles of range reserves. Its all-wheel drive powertrain is comprised of two electric motors that together deliver a total output of 436 horsepower and 531 pound-feet. The front and rear 22-inch wheels are connected via a 5-link axle and the ride is cushioned with the adaptive air suspension. Besides its practicality and off-road capability, the Active Sphere concept also offers a minimalistic yet futuristic cabin with individual seats and an augmented reality dashboard that can be seen only while wearing special glasses. Volkswagen ID3 The first model of the AT series has been on the market for four years now, so VW has decided to give it a proper facelift. The latter was developed with the feedback from the ID3 owners. As a result, the hatchback received more mature exterior styling, modernized stack, and new interior materials, offering improved feel and quality. Among the most noticeable changes of the 2024 model, we can name the new aero-optimized alloys, a different bumper, and two-part rear lights. The drivetrain components remain the same, 
so we'll be getting 200 horsepower and up to 340 miles depending on the battery size. The interior becomes more sustainable, using recycled and animal-free materials. Plus, the technology package now includes a 5-inch driver's display, travel assist with swarm data, and a new 12-inch infotainment with navigation and electric car route planner software that takes into account traffic and weather. Ford e-Transit Courier Ford has revealed more details about its smallest commercial EV, which will go on sale on the European market next year. The second-generation Courier can carry two Euro pallets thanks to a completely overhauled cargo area, which grew in size by 25%, offering 2,900 liters of space. Additionally, the new e-Transit benefits from the increased payload of 1,543 pounds, which is nearly 50 pounds more than in the ICE models. One more interesting upgrade of this compact TV van is a load through the bulkhead feature that allows to carry longer items up to 6 feet. Up front, drivers will see a completely new dashboard with a 12-inch digital instrument cluster and a centrally positioned touchscreen infotainment of the same size. As standard, there will be wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as the built-in modem for the always-on connectivity and software updates. Ford has not specified the battery size or possible range, but it has been confirmed that the van will support 100 kW fast charging. VinFast FV8 and FV8 City Edition The founder of VinFast, Femnet Vuong, began his career as an entrepreneur in Ukraine who built a successful noodle production empire. After selling his business to Nestle, he has managed to become the richest person in Vietnam, expanded operations into high-tech, and now entered the electric car segment. In 2021, his company debuted the VF8 midsize SUV, brought into motion by a single or dual-motor drivetrain and designed by the Italian Pininfarina. Now, the model goes on sale in the USA, first as a cheaper city edition with up to 270 miles, while later buyers will be able to go for the Echo and Plus trims, boosting the range to 260 miles. All four US versions of the VF8 get two electric motors, producing 348 or 202 horses. The models offer seating for five, vegan leather upholstery, a sunroof, and a centrally mounted infotainment with 15.6 inches in diagonal. A kind reminder to check out the last week's video about electric SUVs and trucks through the link in the description. Leave a comment below this video to promote the electric revolution, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and proceed to exploring the world of EVs with us. Like, share, and as always, may the torque be with you!